Guys, as you can see, file has finally arrived to the Amsterdam, so means we have to do some file recipes. Cue in the apple pie, roll the intro. Guys, welcome back to a new episode of Enjoy Spoonful. The fall is finally here. So this is the time to get your some fall produce like apples, which you can do so many things with. You can make a compote, you can make jams, you can make, you can make apple strudel. And if you feel adventurous, you can go even for apple cider. But today we're gonna go and make a simple and traditional apple pie. And this recipe is the one I've been trying to kind of tweak my own for last few falls, so hope you like it as well. The funny enough, that funny enough, the first recipe was written by Geoffrey Chaucer, I think it's pronounced, um, and he's the father of English literature. And his recipe included pears, figs, apples, of course, and raisins and saffron even. And so the funny thing enough that back in the days in England. Um, there was no brown sugar because it was scarce and expensive. So pears were mostly used as something sweeter, as a sweetener back in the days. And a pastry was not eaten. It was called in a coffin because it was used to store in a, the, the filling. Speaking of that coffin, let's make it. So first of all, you need to have a good flour. So roughly 500 grams of it. And then you need also some cold cut butter. So make sure that your butter is cold, so you can pinch it with your fingers and you make it sort of like breadcrumb consistency. Start pinching it. Just make sure that you work with your fingertips so you don't melt the butter because we don't want that. <clears throat> when you have reached that breadcrumb consistency, you can start adding your sugar. So roughly 100 grams here and two eggs. Well, two big eggs, I have small eggs, so preferably maybe three eggs in this case. So. And then get your hands in there. When it starts getting together, you can move it already to your working surface. But be careful not to knead too much, because then when you cook the pastry, it's going to be too tough. And we don't want that, of course. So as soon as it starts coming together, you can put it in a cling film and leave it in the fridge to rest a bit and so make sure that also the butter doesn't melt too much. So after covered in the cling film, put it back in the fridge for like to rest like for an hour or 40 minutes, something like that. So while the dough is resting, let's cut some apples. So you'll roughly need well enough to fill in your tray or your form. In my case, it's going to be a rectangular one, but you can go for a circular one, triangular one, whatever you, it's, whatever rocks your boat. So don't forget to wash them quickly. Usually, people like to take the skins off from the apples. I prefer to keep them because I just like it that way. I like to have more filling than a pastry myself. Some people prefer it differently. Something like this. This might take some time, so let me just quickly time-lapse that. Originally, apples come from Asia, and Alexander the Great brought them to Europe. Uh, more specifically, in 328 BCE, he went to Kazakhstan, found some dwarf apples, brought them back to Europe, to Macedonia. And from that point on, Romans took them all over to Europe, and also brought them to England, where one of the most famous apple pies was made, the English apple pie. After some chopping some apples, we're gonna roll out our dough. Also, if you don't want your apples to go brown, you can pour some bit of lemon juice on top of them and they'll stay nice and greenish. So here we go, the dough should be rested now. So what we have to do is just to roll out enough sh size, shape to put it in our form. In my case, it's gonna be this one. Put a bit of flour. It's where it can get messy, so if you have an apron, go for that. If you pull it against too sticky, just put a bit forward, then you should get it done as well. Best way to check if you're, you have enough rolled out dough, just take your form, see if it fits. Just make sure there's a bit more left over on the sides of it. If it is like that, you can perfectly pick it up. 
So the easiest way to pick up the dough is to roll it on your rolling pin. Just drop it over your fork. There we go. Then make sure it goes in all the corners. Then just take a knife and cut out the sides because those we're gonna use for creating a cover or lettuce in this case. There we go. Then you can put it back in the fridge to cool down for a moment before I fry the apples. And the leftover dough you can quickly reshape into a bowl. Again, cover it in cling film, put it back in the fridge. Now let's do, let's do some frying with the apples. So what you need to do is just you can get your apples, um, get some butter, some cinnamon, some more sugar. Let's fry it in the pan in a bit. are fried it starts slowly smelling like apple pie already in your house so at that point you can already take out your you can already take out your form which will be also cool a bit now you're gonna drop the apples there and then create the lettuce that goes on top you don't have to cook them too long in a pan because again they're gonna be cooked all the way in the oven just to get a quick start don't forget to turn your oven to 190 degrees while everything is prepping here now let's take the rest of the dough yeah, use a bit of flour to dust your working surface. Put a bit on your rolling pin as well so it doesn't stick too much. Start rolling it out again. Now we have to cut stripes, so let me just get closer here. So then you have to cut stripes here. I do like what? A centimeter thick stripes. You don't have to use a sharp knife, you can just even use the back of the butter knife. There we go. So, how to make a lettuce? It's pretty easy. So, first of all, you have to put one. And, in this case, I would say three first stripes. And now let's make the, the crossings. So, for the first crossing, lift the first two, like this on the sides. It's big enough for those and cover like that. Then for the second crossing here, I have to put this one back. Put this one apart, then put this one here. Don't do part of me. Pull that back here. And just keep on doing the same thing over and over again till you finish the lettuce part. And here it is. So now that this has been done, we can put it in the oven that's been heating up for 190 degrees for 50 minutes. Well, 50, 55 minutes depends how big it is in your pie and how big is your shape. So I'll see you in 50 minutes. And so guys, after 50 minutes of baking, this is how it looks like. Nice, gnarly, a bit caramelized on top, melted apples, a bit of a bit of raspberries over there can't wait to dig in but i have to wait because i have a dinner with my friends coming up so i'll wait with until they arrive so thank you for tuning in this week i hope that you enjoyed this episode if you did please click on the like button subscribe if you want to see more of these videos and i'll see you next time thank you so much